Gumaca, officially the municipality of Gumaca, Tagalog, Bayan ng Gumaca, is a first-class municipality in the province of Quezon, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 73,877 people, located at the mouth of what is now known as Pipisic River and nestling at the foot of the Sierra Madre Range. The town is widely known as a heritage town due to the many ancestral houses and old structures that abound in the area, including a fortress from the Spanish era. The local government is currently conserving these heritage structures for future generations. Barangays Gumaca is politically subdivided into 59 barangays. History Formerly known as Bamaka, meaning, to fight, the present town of Gumaca was a settlement founded at the southern bank of Palanas River in the 14th century by a group of settlers from Borneo and the Malay Peninsula. It is in fact only 11 years younger than the noble and ever loyal city of Manila. The earliest known ruler was Lacan Bugtali. His sovereignty extended over the regions bordering Guswan, now called Laman Bay, from Gamau Point to the north, to the island across the bay or now known as Alabat Islands, to the southwest passing the northeastern part of the present town of Kalawag, the source of Talalong, which traverses the town of Lopez, and Pandanan Rivers and on the northwest as far as the upper Kalalayan River. Thus when the first Spaniards arrived in this settlement in 1574 led by Fr. Diego de Oropesa, they found a group of barangays with their own culture and government. Gumaca, writes Juan Álvarez Guerra in Viajes por Filipinas, de Manila a Teabas, second printing 1887, is first mentioned in the Franciscan Register of 1582. This is the same year given by Huerta, 1862. Fray Diego belonged to the batch of pioneering Franciscans under Juan de Placentia who were assigned to explore the area presently the provinces of Rizal, Laguna and Quezon to determine future mission sites for the Franciscans. They introduced Christianity to the people with San Diego de Alcala being proclaimed as the Pueblo's patron saint. In 1582, the first visita was erected and 1686 marked the establishment of a full-pledged town with independent civil government, the earlier ones having been headed by the ever-present Spanish friars. The municipality boasts of a still-complete lineup of chief executives from 1574 to the present. From 1574 to 1670 the town of Gumaca was ruled by Spanish friars. Then from 1671 to 1893 the town was ruled by Spanish and Filipino gobernadorcillos. From 1893 to 1900 the town executives came to be known as Capitan Municipal and from 1901 the head of the town was elected by the people and came to be known as Presidente Municipal. Later in 1936 this title was changed to Municipal Mayor. The brief history of Gumaca had no mention of any law, decree or republic act which created the municipality and there was no mother municipality where Gumaca came from. As for its daughter towns, Lopez is the most notable among them, being one of the largest and the most progressive in that part of the province. Demographics Places of interest San Diego de Alcala Fortress, Kutang San Diego Recognized by the National Historical Commission as a national treasure since 1981, this fortress was constructed by the Spaniards under the leadership of Franciscan priest Fray Francisco Coast. It was erected to help guard the town against pirates attacking from Laman Bay, as well as from Dutch intruders during the 1700s. One can see some of the cannons still intact at the fort. According to some accounts, there used to be an existing tunnel between said fortress and the San Diego de Alcala Church, now a cathedral. Access was through a well located at the fort's platform, which is now covered. There are four fortresses constructed by the Spaniards, but only this one survived. It is a well-loved and famous landmark, it is included in the town's seal. Locals call the fortress Castillo. There have been proposals to reconstruct the three other fortresses that were destroyed. The revival of the three fortresses would complete the original design of the four fortification ensemble of Gumaca, one of the most important fortification ensemble in the region during the Spanish era. Laman Bay 
Known before as Guswan Bay, Laman Bay is named after Lam Ong, a pirate that was killed by Gumaka's earliest ruler, Lakan Bugtali. It is a body of water connecting the northern part of Quezon to the Pacific Ocean. It bounds the coastal towns of Atamonan, Gumaca, Plaridel, Lopez, and Calauag, and the islands of Alabat. It is a rich fishing ground and the home of various living corals. Most parts of the bay consist of gray sand, some parts are filled with rocks, and other living corals. It is gradually sloping to the extent that, during low tide, the water level is low enough to allow one to walk as far as 500 meters from the shore. The beaches in the towns of Gumaca and Plaridel are sandy and ideal for swimming, especially, during the months of April and May, caution though during the latter part of May when jellyfishes start arriving. In some parts of the bay, about 10 feet from the beach front, are living corals. The town of Lopez has the best colonies of corals which are located just about 15 minutes by boat from the shore. Laman Bay is located at the northern part of Quezon. San Diego de Alcala Cathedral Its first establishment was in 1582 by the Franciscans, who were the first missionaries who brought Christianity to Gumaca, on its present site. It was transferred to Salangan in the island of Alabat, Quezon in 1638. It was burned by the Dutch forces in 1665, which subsequently resulted to them transferring back to its original site in Gumaca. The church was reconstructed in 1690 and completed in 1747. The edifice and the adjoining convent were beautified in 1846. When a strong earthquake hit Gumaca in 1937, the uppermost portion of the church belfry toppled down, leaving only three of the five-level belfry intact. During the term of Monsignor José Oliveros, the belfry and choir loft were reconstructed and was completed in 1999. Known as one of the biggest and oldest Catholic churches in the province of Quezon, it is located in Brigi, San Diego Poblacion near the municipal government office. The church is made out of coral stone blocks and bricks. Though the design of the church is mainly Baroque, archival photos show that the interiors were mainly done in Gothic Revival architecture. Its retablos and arco toral design clearly reflects this style, possible due to its popularity in the early 19th century. The church was renovated, and the retablos, together with the pulpit, were lost. A statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus can be found at the church park, locally known as Patio. It directly faces the front door of the church. Some say that the eyes of the icon can be seen closed at some time, though it is open most of the time. The arch of the icon reflects the old retablo design of the church. The cathedral is under the patronage of Saint Didicus of Alcala, San Diego in Spanish. He was born to a poor couple in San Nicolas del Puerto and was given to a hermit as a young child. He joined the Order of Friars Minor, more popular known as the Franciscans, which is a group advocating the simple, contemplative and self-sacrificing lifestyle of Saint Francis de Assisi. While Saint Didicus was assigned in the infirmary of the convent of Araceli, many of the patients were miraculously cured upon his divine intercession. His final assignment was in Sta. Maria de Jesus in Alcala where he lived a life of penance, solitude and contemplation. He died on November 12, 1463 due to abscess in Alcala, thus the name San Diego de Alcala. Instead of foul odor, his body emitted a fragrant smell and rigor mortis did not set in. He was canonized in 1588. His feast was made November 13 instead of November 12 in order to give way to St. Martin. However, in 1969, his feast was correctly made November 12 after the feast of St. Martin was moved to April 13. Plaza Rizal Dedicated to the national hero José Rizal, the park and monument were built in 1935 during the incumbency of Heriberto Caparros. By 1982, it was modernized, renovated, and lighted. It is located at Barangay Rizal in the town's Poblacion. It features Rizal standing on a pedestal. Three women are seated at the base representing the three major island regions of the country, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The women are wearing native costumes from the regions they represent. Marala Gumaca, being a coastal town, was originally a walled city. 
Old maps dating to the Spanish era shows that the coastline from the mouth of Pipisic River running a few hundred meters is a marala or wall, made up of stone, most probably coral stones and or bricks, and hardwood. There are no extant remnants of it, except for the San Diego de Alcala fortress that is used to be a part of the wall. However, the boulevard is still called by the locals as Marala. A large part of the sea was reclaimed, and is now fashioned like the Baywalk of Manila Bay. Landscaped, lighted, and beautified by the local government, it is now a favorite place of Gumaqueños to hang out, play, bask in the cool ocean breeze, or watch the sunset. There are some stores and a bar located along the strip. Drinking along the boulevard is however prohibited. Culture Aranyat Balwarte Festival The festival is celebrated every 15 May, in honor of San Isidro Labrador, the patron saint of farmers. This is also a thanksgiving feast for the bountiful harvest given to the farmers every year. Being an agricultural town, this is one of the most extravagant and well-attended festival of the town. The name means chandeliers and bastion or fort Balwarte. This festival is different from Pahias in Lukban. Instead of houses being decorated with local produce, Balwarts are decorated with various agricultural products like bananas, vegetables, buko, pineapple, and root crops. Some are beautifully arranged in Aranyas. These crop decor are pulled out by the people after the patron saint has passed during the afternoon procession. The three most beautifully decorated Balwarts are given prizes. At night, programs are held which includes a pageant aptly called Mutia ng Aranyat Balwarte. Folk dances performed by students, teachers, and local townsfolk who would like to participate in the event. Cultural tour Quezon is a tapestry of old Spanish-style houses with Castilian architecture and character. Visit the old houses of Lucban, Tayabas, Saraya, Gumaca, and Mauban while savoring the best of the yield from Lanzones plantations. Or come during the San Isidro Festival in honor of the patron of farmers, San Isidro Labrador. Take home petered rice paste strung in garlands for a souvenir and celebrate with the people this feat of thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest. Folk dances four, four of our folk dances have originated in the municipality of Gumaca, La Jota Gumaqueña, Pocabal, Mazurka Vals and Del Pilar. La Jota Gumaqueña is a lively festival dance in Camohaguan, Gumaca, Quezon, which features stomping and elegant moves while using castanets and panderetas. It is derived from the words hoda two four time and vals means waltz, a step or a dance in three four time. Once very popular among the prosperous families of Gumaca. A well-known local musician at the time, Senor Ermanagildo Omena, introduced this dance. It became popular with the young people and was handed down between generations. The male wears barong Tagalog and black trousers and female wears a Maria Clara dress. Pokabal is a dance influenced by two distinct European styles, polka and vals. Mazurka vals features unique figures where the girl steps on the feet of the boy. They then proceed to do mincing step turns, walking steps, and lift the feet sideways right and left. Local government Mayor, ENGR. Erwin P. Karelian Municipal mayors From the discovery in 1574 and official foundation of Gumaca in 1582, Franciscan friars have been the town heads Senior. Padre Diego de Oropesa Senior. Padre Esteban Ortiz Senior. Padre Geronimo Monti, 1599-1622. Senior. Padre Gabriel Stowe. Tomas, 1623-1637. Senior. Padre Marcelo de La Guardia, 1638-1661. Senior. Padre Celestino de San Miguel, 1662 to 1670. From 1671, Gobernadorcillos are the heads of town Dof Gumaca, Spanish period. 
mostly composed of dynasties of Hispanic Filipino families. Don Diego Jose, 1671-1672 Don Francisco Sta. Maria, 1673-1676 Don Pedro de Castro, 1677-1679 Don Simon Prada, 1680-1681 Don Mariano de Dios, 1682 Don Jose San Agustin, 1683. Don Santiago Abra, 1684. Don Felix Jimenez, 1684 to 1685. Don Juan Adriano, 1686. Don Antonio Lopez, 1686. Don Juan San Buenaventura, 1687 to 1688. Don Jose Ajin de Vera, 1689. Don Buenaventura de la Cruz, 1690. Don Diego Martinez Polentin, 1690. Don Manuel Cuello, 1691. Don Don Gregorio Dandan, 1692. Don Nicolas Sarmiento, 1693. Don Francisco de Victoria, 1694. Don Francisco Martinez, 1695 to 1696. Don Juan Cabig, 1697. Don Gaspar Catapang, 1698. Don Francisco Escobar, 1698 to 1699. Don Marcos Frias, 1700. Don Pedro Talavera, 1701. Don Francisco Martinez, 1702. Don Diego Martinez Polonio, 1703. Don Diego Salvador, 1704. Don Francisco Cortez, 1705. Don Antonio Sta. Maria, 1706. Don Pedro Talavera, 1707. Don Francisco de Victoria, 1708. Don Diego Martinez Polonio, 1709. Don Pedro Talavera, 1710. Don Buenaventura de los Santos, 1711. Don Francisco Clemente, 1712. Don Juan Bautista, 1712. Don Francisco Salvador Martinez, 1713. Don Alejo Alonso de Victoria, 1714. Don Antonio Catapang, 1715. Don Pedro Jimenez, 1716. Don Francisco Clemente, 1717. Don Geronimo Jimenez, 1718. Don Pedro Almonte, 1719. Don Pedro Patillo, 1720. Don Santiago Martinez, 1721. Don Bartolome Dandan Casadia, 1722. Don Pedro Talavera, 1723. Don Antonio Paris Margas, 1724. Don Jose Pagayanon, 1724 to 1725. Don Francisco de Victoria, 1725 to 1727. Don Francisco Salvador, 1728. Don Gregorio Jimenez, 1729. Don Francisco Cordero, 1730. Don Juan de Reyes, 1731. Don Eugenio de los Santos, 1732 to 1733. Don Francisco de los Reyes, 1734. Don Francisco de Leon, 1735. Don Andres Martinez, 1736. 
Don Diego de los Santos, 1737. Don Miguel de los Reyes, 1738. Presidentes Municipal, American Period. Don Donato T. Arcaya, 1901-1903, first elected Presidente Municipal de Gumaca, Gobernadrisillo Interim, 1900. Don Carlos Capasanda, 1904-1905. Don Rafael Castro, 1906-1907. Don Conrado Oliveros, 1908-1909. Don Tomas Tanyada Sr., 1909-1912. Don Aurelio P. Nava, 1912-1916, son of Gobernador Solo Don Antonino Nava. Don Dio Gracias Tanyada, 1916-1919. Don Panfilo M. Tanyada, 1919 to 1923. Don Valeriano Arcaya, 1923 to 1925, son of Presidente Don Donato Arcaya. Don Marciano Linné Principe, 1925 to 1928. Don Don Eriberto Caparros, 1928 to 1931. Don Francisco Omaña, 1931 to 1934. Don Vicente M. Mendoza, 1934 to 1939, Japanese occupation, 1942 to 1946. Senior Juan R. Tanyada, 1940 to 1946. Don Vicente D. Victoria, 1946 to 1951, son of Governor Solo Don Pedro Victoria. After the liberation, the head of town has been changed to municipal mayor. Senior. Mariano M. Tanyada Sr., 1952-1959, son of Gobernador Solo Don Vicente Tanyada Dr. Cesar A. Angulo, 1960-1963 Don Tomas C. Tanyada, Jr., 1964-1967, son of Presidente Don Tomas Tanyada Sr., Martial Law Era, 1972-1981 Engr. Teodosio V. Principe, 1968-1979, son of Presidente Don Marciano Principe. Call. Robert T. Yap Dianco, 1980-1986, after EDSA People Power I, 1986. Cirillo M. Tanyada, 1986-1995, son of Mayor Mariano M. Tanyada Sr. Colonel Rodolfo B. Karelian, July 1, 1995 to August 16, 1995, died during his term of office. Juanito B. Bonil, 1995 to 2007. Engr. Joy Job Arcaya Cabongon, 2007 to 2010. Engr. Erwin P. Karelian, 2010 to 2019, son of Mayor Call. Rodolfo Karelian References External links Quezon Province Business Directory and Travel Guide Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System